Hilary Deve CB is said to have left not a single penny in her will, despite an estimated fortune of £80 million. The former BBC Dragon's Den star, who died aged 65 in June 2022 while at her holiday home in Marrakesh, Morocco, only had one son, who is a former heroin addict. Hillary gained her wealth from a pallet company which brought in £100 million a year. She sold Palax Haulage, which ran in eight European countries, in 2019 after selling her home and car in the 1990s to finance it. The shrewd businesswoman lived a lavish life with homes in the UK, Morocco, Spain, and Florida. According to her will, Hillary only left material objects including jewellery to those closest to her. The Daily Mail reported that in Hillary's will, which she made in 2021, she left her famous diamond cross to her pal Audrey Mulligan and her personal effects to her son Mevlet Brewster Ahmet and her publicist and lawyer who acted as trustees. That means what happens to her estimated £80 million fortune is a mystery. It is not known whether a chunk of her fortune has gone to Melvit Brewster Ahmet, 36, who she shares with Turkish business executive Hussein Ahmet. Hillary spoke previously about looking after her son when he was addicted to heroin. The hardest work I've ever done is pulling my son back from the grip of heroin, she said in 2011. He was six weeks from dying when I found out about his drug taking seven years ago. It has been an utter hell. For a long time I had to lock every door behind me. He would steal my clothes, food, anything he could sell for money to get a fix. He stole cash from my purse, took money out using my bank cards and even pawned my jewelry. When she recently started to worry there was a chance he would slip back into his old ways, she took the decision to move him from a rundown terraced house he shared with a friend in Derby to her lavish and plush property in nearby Burton-on-Trent. The TV star said at the time, I once had to drag him from a drug den in Derby after one of his friends told me he was there. I felt dreadful and was very frightened, but I was more concerned about getting him out. I know I spoiled him when he was a kid but I was a single mother and he was my whole world. Hillary published her autobiography, Bold as Brass, My Story in 2012, which charted her life from her humble beginnings as a Bolton girl remembering the bailiff's calling when her father's central heating business went bankrupt, to the multi-millionaire businesswoman she became. She was born in Bolton, and from the age of seven started helping out in the pubs and corner shop run by her parents. She left school at 16 and later moved to London for work, where she worked in logistics for companies include TNT. She came to public attention when she replaced James Conn on Dragon's Den, later saying her best investment had been a mattress slash duvet for caravans, boats and trucks. In 2013 Hillary was made a CBE, honored for a career in business and for her charitable work. Her charity work included her position as Vice President of the Carers Trust and she was also a patron of the Stroke Association, having herself suffered a stroke in 2009. In 2017, she revealed she had given up cigarettes after reportedly smoking at least 20 a day for over 40 years. She said at the time, I've been hooked on cigarettes and ignoring the damage, even though I know the harm I'm doing. I've found it extremely difficult to quit for good. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.